Cyclothymic disorder is a mild form of bipolar disorder in which a person has mood swings over a period of years that go from mild depression to euphoria or excitement. Symptoms of cyclothymic disorder include episodes of hypomania, which are characterized by feelings of elation and hyperactivity, and mild depression, which are feelings of sadness and despair. They occur for at least two years in adults, but one or more years in children. These mood swings are less severe than bipolar, major depression, or mania. They are very persistent. A person with cyclothymia never goes two or more months consecutively without symptoms. Cyclothymia begins early in life, but the causes of this disorder are unknown. Diagnosis of cyclothymia includes at least two years of the presence of numerous hypomanic and depressive symptoms that do not meet the criteria for a major depressive episode. In children and adolescents, the duration must be at least one year. During the two-year period, the person cannot be without the symptoms in criterion A for more than two months at a time. The symptoms cause clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. The diagnosis falls under a mood disorder due to the general medical condition. It falls under Axis 1 with mixed features that make it possible to cross over to Axis 3. No major depressive, manic, or mixed episode can be present during the first two years of the disorder. After the initial two years of cyclothymic disorder, there may be superimposed manic or mixed episodes, in which case both bipolar 1 disorder and cyclothymic disorder may be diagnosed, or major depressive episodes, in which case both bipolar 2 disorder and cyclothymic disorder may be diagnosed. The symptoms in Criterion A are not better accounted for by schizoaffective disorder and is not superimposed on schizophrenia, schizophreniform, delusional, or a psychotic disorder not otherwise specified. The symptoms are not due to the direct physiological effects of a substance, such as a drug abuse, or a general medical condition, such as hyperthyroidism. Treatment for Dolores would be a lifestyle change that might include exercise and a new diet. Cognitive behavioral therapy as well as interpersonal and group therapy are best for treating cyclothymia. Medication is used only as a last resort and those medicines that they use are mood stabilizers, antipsychotics, antidepressants, or anti-seizure medicine. Cyclothymic disorder is equally common among men and women. Women are more likely to seek treatment than men. Symptoms often begin early in adolescence. Studies have reported a lifetime prevalence of cyclothymic disorder from 0.4% to 1%. Prevalence in mood disorder clinics may range from 3% to 5%. At once, a fragile girl and a hard-edged cynic, so tough to love yet so inimitably lovable, Dolores is as heartbreakingly real as our own imperfections. She is wise-mouthed but wounded, having bid her childhood goodbye. Beached like a whale in front of her bedroom TV, she spends the next few years nourishing herself with the potato chips and Pepsi her anxious mother supplies. Her mother, Bernice, has a mental breakdown and leaves her in the care of her grandmother. At the age of 13, she is raped by her grandmother's neighbor. By age 18, Dolores weighs 257 pounds, is ranked third in her class, has no goals, and is chosen last for teens. She often uses her weight as a source to feel powerful over others. Sadie Saxton from MTV's Awkward uses her size to overpower others. Dolores Price also shows this characteristic. Why are you shushing me? Sorry, Sadie. The loser wants us to talk about her. That's why she did it. It was a pathetic ploy for attention. She should go to church. Or Thailand. Only a pedophile would screw her. I see Sadie Saxton raising her hand. Oh yeah, that's classy, Sadie. Please. I don't need someone like you to feel sorry for me. It's not like I'm gonna kill myself over it. <laughs> Maybe people would stop staring at you if you could just finish the abortion your mom botched. Sorry. Can I go now, Valerie? It's Ms. Marks. Okay, Valerie. Be advised, Val. People have gone to jail for less. So watch yourself. Where's your purity ring hanging from your nipple? I'm totally empty. Who the f invited you? Don't even talk to me until you kick that slut hole out of your party. 
There is a loophole. Really? God has a blind spot. Why don't you go home and practice the blood violin? You know this is a charity league, not a charity, right? I tell it like I see it. And as I see it, there's a girl here who should be shot. Am I in the know? <laughs> yes. I just told you. How about you go f yourself? Give it back. If I wrote you an evil letter, you better believe I'd sign my name. You can't silence me. And you can't paint my face with that either. It'll make me break out. Do you know how much microderm costs? There was a Deadpool on you, and I bet you wouldn't make it to 16. I mean, look at you. You're like something a desperate celebrity would adopt from a third world country. Happy birthday. Cheers. This is a bad omen. We are totally going to lose this game. There's the bitch. Sicker. No carb chocolate with gummy bears on the spot. Are they gummy sugar free? Of course. But don't eat too many. The lady behind the counter said they're basically candy laxatives. I know. This is not carb free. He needs to defriend her like yesterday. Your plan is retarded. You see your busy Val. I won't come back later. You cannot ruin formal for your fellow students. And more importantly, you cannot out people. Please. When Clark Stevenson busted out that pink leather backpack, he outed himself. <laughs> what was that? You look really pretty. Help me in so I can slap you. Three godforsaken letters. You suck at being anorexic. Time to embrace bulimia. You're welcome. If you just admit your parents or cousins, people will stop making fun of your learning disability. You're welcome. Be muy excelente at gardening or busing tables, and maybe you'll get to stay in this country. Danata. No, Melanie will not go to formal with you. Wake up and smell the body spray. Clark is gay. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. After meeting her roommate and learning about her roommate's boyfriend, Dante, Dolores becomes obsessed with him. They communicate through letters and photos sent back and forth. She goes to Cape Cod to see a beached whale. After seeing the animal in such pain and agony, Dolores wades into the water to drown herself. She becomes institutionalized and undergoes psychological analytic therapy. During her time in therapy, Dolores loses 100 pounds, but does not like the slow process of therapy. She moves to Vermont to meet Dante, the center of her college obsession. She gets an apartment across the hall from him. She marries Dante, who is a manipulator and a controlling man. Dolores achieves pregnancy, which is something she has truly wanted. She is certain the baby is a girl and refers to her as Vita Marie. Dolores, desperate to please others, allows Dante to force her to get an abortion. Dolores and Dante divorce, and she moves back to her late grandmother's house. At her grandmother's funeral, Dolores reconnects with friends and forms a close family-like relationship with them. Through their encouragement, she enrolls in school to accomplish her dreams. At school, she meets Thayer. Thayer is a single father who takes interest in Dolores, even with her troubled past. They begin a relationship, and once their first in vitro fertilization treatment fails, he takes Dolores on a whale-watching vacation. During this trip, Dolores reflects on her past and present and concludes that her life is now good enough. We only found a few websites that have people who freely post about their encounter or diagnosis with cyclothymic disorder. Those links are posted below.